Hello my lovely Gemini, welcome to this reading. It's Mia here and yet another week is gone so we're going to have a look what kind of energies are surrounding week of February 6th through to 12th. Gemini, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Plus keep in mind that this is not one one reading, this is a general reading. Plus I have something important, I'm going to do a three card reading afterwards. So stay tuned and we're going to find out what kind of energies or things you need to stop doing what you need to continue doing and as well what to start anyways thank you so much for being here i'm ever so grateful so stay tuned subscribe like and comment if you feel that way Alrighty, let's dive in what do we have oh hi priestess interesting oh the star wowzers aquarius is here okay two of pentacles two twos there's some deep thoughts and decisions to make oh Three of Pentacles. Right, you're embarking on a new path. And it is going to be an interesting one. Indeed. It is something to do with work. It is something to do that you do. Either this is hobby or it's a craft or some sort of new plan you are you are researching. I feel like you are in kind of researching stage. Either you're planning to do it or you're kind of like... Ooh, shall I step out of my comfort zone and and um, dive into something into un unknown? Right, Gemini. So this is interesting because we have the High Priestess. And High Priestess was haunting the 2023 reading. So check out my either pick a card or for each zodiac sign as well. And with the twos, it's kind of like making decisions. You have two twos, so there's some interesting decisions to make. However, the High Priestess is talking about you are not to know the full story. So it is a very interesting one, where especially when you read tarot, right? And the card says, let the journey reveal itself. Let the, don't guess what's happening. Don't jump before, before the, your time. And you will know what you need to know at each stage. However, this card coming together with, with the, trying something new out either at work or planning is really significantly urging you to keep yourself to yourself, especially regarding money. If you're starting to make money or what you're putting in, keep it to yourself because otherwise that can um, develop some, some sort of jealousy around your peer group or people or family. And it's usually the closest that are uh, more, uh, more likely to be uh, drawn into this jealousy and thinking, oh, do you think you are, you know? <laughs> Remember where you come from. Now, the High Priestess is going to reveal what you need to know. But have faith and intuition and guidance that you are on the right path. And as you are... Okay, here we go. When student is ready, teacher appears. When you are ready, you will know when to start certain things. How to, uh, no, how to deal with obstacles that are coming your way. Trust the process. Trust your guidance system. Okay? And now with the star, you are dipping your toes into some sort of unknown territory in a ways. However, you are following your dream. You are following your dream. And as we are currently in Aquarius season, it's very revolutionary as well. We just came out from the full moon in Leo that was really screaming like, show the world really you, you know, and it's time for you really shine your light on things that you love doing as well. And with these seven stars, that represents seven chakras that we have. Maybe some healing needed. Because as you're starting on something new, something interesting, okay, uh, you need to kind of leave the past behind. Maybe some healing needed regarding your past, either relationships or um, attitude towards money, attitude towards yourself maybe as well, you know. Um, however, star card is very, very lucky. And it says that universe is granting you the wish and you are going to receive what you know, you are going to receive your gift. And it could be that you are very gifted. Maybe you're working with your talents um, that's been given to you as well. Now, two of pentacles. It's an interesting one. And it's something I'd like to see various ways. One of them is think outside the box. As the person can't decide which of the pentacles to drop or whether to mold into one. However, he feels like he doesn't want to drop either one of them, but it makes him kind of uncomfortable, unstable and not really settled. Now, this is the card talking about think outside the box. Maybe um, 
time management. And it's very thing I recently learned as well is when you work, you work. When you relax, relax. Efficiency is very important here. And it could be that you are starting some sort of um, either side hustle or a learning because this card is learning and teaching as well. Maybe you're starting courses or maybe you're preparing a course to, to sell on, on online as well. It kind of feels that you might be actually starting to do that on a, as a side hustle. Hence, it it's a bit of short time during the day and you feel like I'm running out of time. You know, I'm doing one thing and another thing. But don't worry about that. You're going to get there. You are going to get there. Keep your focus on where you're going. Right. I promised I am going to do a three card reading for you, Gemini, which in which I'm going to discuss what to stop right now, what to continue to do. And what kind of things to start to do um, this week as well. Right, let's have a quick shuffle. I did it before already. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Please subscribe and like and comment if this resonates with you. Cards are super chatty indeed. I'm going to do one more shuffle here. And we are good to go. Right, what you need to stop. Eight of Cups, change. And what you need to continue. Movement. Oh, cats is here. And what you need to start. Six of Wands. Success. Beautiful. That's very empowering, in fact. Right. Regarding the stuff. Change. Okay. So here's the thing that writes, comes to my mind. And especially with the two, no, two pentacles that comes to mind. It might have been that you've been trying out something in your life and you've been trying one thing and then another thing and then another thing and then back to one and square one and, you know, and by the time you know it, nothing's been done. Okay? Stick with one thing and work it. Make time and deci make decision. Don't rush into it. So make decision what it is you want to pursue. And go over there. Because jumping from one to another and not investing time and expecting like that things happen. Mm -mm. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Things take time. And get rich screens. That's in, that's in the past, okay? Now, I'm not saying it, that doesn't work for some. But you can't just base everything on that. You have need to things need to grow. They need to develop. You including. You including. Right. Gemini, what you need to continue? Minds over matter. So it is really like some sort of tunnel vision and being so self-disciplined. And that's what it's about. Especially this week where you are trying to learn something new and learn to grow and coming out of your comfort zone. It will de definitely test your commitment, test your mind over matter. And how, how disciplined you are and how hungry you are. That's the word. How hungry you are for the success. How hungry you want to make this thing work. Are you prepared to invest time, energy, probably money as well? And that's kind of, kind of test. Okay. And you will get rewarded. Trust me. Start. And this card is my, oh, I love this. And not because it says success. But it feels like this person, like in, in typical tarot, is coming home, like bringing the sex, success home. You know, like some people in all the days they were going to the war and then they brought came home, you know, with the victory. But it kind of feels that you are bringing something back home, something that you maybe wanted for a long time to do. And finally, you have been able to, with this, especially the star card, able to fulfill the dream. It kind of feels like, yes. I'm able to do and fulfill my dreams. And success is talking about the little successes. Celebrating daily victories is super important. The little steps does big wonders. Right. What we have, the knowledge. It's the knowledge. It's the path that this person is prepared to go. Right. Eight of Cups. It's a person that is holding onto the wounds. Have the faith. Have faith in yourself and in things that you want to do. The end of tough cycle approaches. So you're coming in the smoother roads ahead. That's for sure. What we have here. 
Antina. Okay. It is safe for you to be powerful, Gemini. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. And I think whatever you want to achieve this week or you start this week, it it requires bold steps. It requires bold decisions. But that's you. Don't be scared to be judged. Don't be scared to be uh, talked about even. But I, I soon believe that someone's going to start to follow and you will very really inspire others as well. Righty. No. If you believe, here we are. And I love this kind of... Can you do this? Probably no. But if you believe you can, with the chariot here, you can do every single thing you can. You can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want to be. You can have whatever you want to have. As long as you believe. As long as you believe. Right. There is no time to stop. P parking usually means that when you are on the road, you can see the parking lot. You can stop and have a tea, coffee or uh, whatever. Stretch your legs. This is time to roll up your sleeves and dive in <laughs> in the deep end. Literally. There is no time for uh, resting at the moment in metaphor, metaphorically clearly. But it's kind of really like it's time for being proactive indeed. All right, my lovelies, what a week you have. Good luck on that. Anyways, Gemini, I'm sending you love and light and abundance. And thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you, Kisser, in the next video. Ta-da.